Secretary of State has kicked former President Donald Trump off the primary ballot. Democrat Sheena Bellows pictured here with Joe Biden, look at her there, with President Joe Biden is following Colorado's suit disqualifying Trump based on the insurrection clause. And guess what? She's a Democrat. Much like Colorado, Bellows' decision will likely be challenged in court. Speaking of which, in a stunning turn of events, Trump is back on the primary ballot in the state of Colorado. Secretary of State Jenna Griswold announcing this afternoon that she will certify primary ballots with Trump's name on them, unless the U.S. Supreme Court steps in. Vivek Ramaswamy is a 2024 presidential candidate. Here he is. Vivek, the secretaries of states in 2020, secretaries of states, one individual would come in and wipe away the laws of the legislature and say, because of COVID, I'm changing mail-in balloting. One person changing election rules. That was 2020. 2024, one person saying, I am disenfranchising Trump voters. Your thoughts? Well, look, Kaylee, I think you phrased it well, but I would say that this is not an action of one person. This is the action of an entire system that has an anaphylactic reaction to one man. And I think they're dropping the breadcrumbs. They're making it clearer by the day. I'm concerned that they will not allow this man to get anywhere near the start line of the election, let alone the finish line. And I say this as somebody who's running in the same race as Donald Trump. This is not how we should want to win. So I stand by the pledge I made earlier on the back of the Colorado decision, and I reiterate it today, that I will voluntarily, as a Republican candidate, remove myself from any GOP primary ballot where one of my competitors, Donald Trump included, is forcibly removed through this unconstitutional maneuver. And I think one thing that the other Republican candidates can do, Kaylee, is to fight against this, to say that Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley and Chris Christie do the same thing, that if Maine is going to do this, we then take Maine out of the GOP primary process. That's the logical way to handle this. And so I made that announcement tonight. I challenge every one of my other competitors in the GOP primary to do the same thing, to say that we will not stand by idly and watch this brazen form of election interference in the GOP primary itself. And I think that that's not a left wing or a right wing issue. It shouldn't be. This is about the Constitution and who we are as Americans. And that's why I've taken the position I have. Yeah, it's a bold position. It's a principled position. And I want to get your take on this. So President Trump, he reacted to the news that you were going to stop spending money on TV ads. He said this on Truth Social. Oh. He will, I am sure, endorse me, but Vivek is a good man and is not done yet. Is that something, I mean, I understand you don't have plan Bs. You said that. Is that something you would consider at the right moment, should it come to that? So not a plan B well, guy. Well, actually have been clear, What about Kaylee? vice president? <laughs> I've been clear. Look, if Trump is the nominee, he has my full support and backing all the way, just as I expect his if I'm the nominee. I actually think we're going to deliver a major surprise in Iowa. I'm talking to you from the back of the campaign bus between two stops in rural Iowa. I think we're going to have a major surprise on January 15th because many of the supporters backing me, they're not polled. Many of them aren't even traditional caucus goers, many of them young, some of them past libertarians, other America first conservatives who haven't been traditional Republicans. So I think you're going to see a shock on January 15th. I think we're going to shock the world. I think the polls are dead wrong. But either way, I do think it needs to be an America first candidate leading our movement forward. And I think I'm mm -hmm. best able to reach that next generation, Kaylee, as a young person. That's why I'm going to see this all the way through. And I think we're going to win. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.